need your hair, baby. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like a warlord. The stash. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. This video is not for everybody. Not right now. It could be for everybody and it will be for everybody at some point. But for right now, it's on the people that are in my guild. Now, I don't ask much to be in my guild. It's very simple. All you got to do is join my Discord. That link's below. Navigate to the How to Join the Guild tab, thread, and follow the instructions. Fairly simple, I promise. It's nothing crazy. So, you may have noticed I have a script that's currently in beta right now. Warning, beta, beta. You know, technically it's like more of an alpha, but we're going to call it a beta just for the hell of it. So I'm going to go over how to install it. For those of you that have had been having trouble, I, this was actually a request from someone in my uh, Discord. Um, so if you know how to do scripts, then this is going to be super simple. So don't really worry about it. But we're going to get started right away. The first thing is you have to be in my Discord. Now, that is not the right tab. Ooh, that's not the right tab. Here we go. All right. So, this is the Lycan Warlord Gaming Auto Cell Script thread. This is part of the guild only threads that you have access to once you've been given the LWG guild role. That's what you see people here in yellow. Shout out to Mitchko and, of course, to Crypto Dude, who's been busting his butt, helping improve this script. Now, we base the script off of what Haven's Guild script does, which is the script you see me use mostly in my videos. And also, it has a basis and foundation in Groove Script. Shout out to Groove. Shout out to uh, General Fault. Both of them amazing programmers. They got the script game on point. So, step one is being in the guild. You'll see it here. This is version 33 Alpha. 33A. Now, it says A, Alpha, again, Alpha, Beta. You know what? Warning. Beta. Beta. As far as we're concerned, it's Beta. All right? So, everyone that's in the guild that has access to it can use it, and we're using that to help get all the bugs out. So, the first thing you're going to do once you navigate to this uh, page, it is uh, pinned, by the way, by me, I believe. I pinned it. We checked the pins. Sure enough, it's pinned. So, you can just go to the pinned messages if you can't find it, but you have to go to the pinned messages here in LWG Auto Cell Script. Once you go there, you're going to see the option to download message. It is a text file. You're going to click on that. Boom, it's going to pop up your window, and depending on how and where you download, the next thing you should see is this. The file is going to be downloaded in your download folder, or wherever the hell you put it. Most people, it's probably downloaded, in all fairness, but uh, for now, I made a new folder just so you guys can see. It's in downloads anyway, but I renamed mine. It actually is going to download... Um, what is it downloaded as? It's going to download it as message. So I left click on it and I type in, of course, LWG underscore test underscore call it whatever you want, as long as you know what the file is, right? So there's the file. Boom. Very simple. It is a 67.8 kilobyte file. It's not big at all. Once you have that file, you want to double click on it. Boom. Okay. When you do that, that's going to bring up. Where is it at? Where'd I put it? There it is. Okay. It's going to bring up this. This is what you're going to see. This is the script. Okay. So you've got it downloaded. Good. Congratulations. That's done. Now, next thing you got to do is make sure that you have Tamper Monkey installed. If you're already using scripts, you've already got Tamper Mon Monkey installed. So ignore this part. But for those of you that don't have Tamper Monkey installed, this is how you get to it. I'm going to have the link below. I'm going to have the link below for Tamper Monkey. I'm not going to have the link below for the script. Now, to get to Tamper Monkey, we're going to go ahead and turn that off. And you can see here and here. Either way, the website is tampermonkey.net. You can see that right here. And this is the website you're going to be brought to. Now, if you notice right here at the top, he's got a nice little set of tabs. So no, no matter where you go, you're going to be able to get the right script. So for me, I'm using Edge currently for Townstar. So I've got... Uh, this is Chrome-based, Edge, Safari, Firefox, Opera, Next Dolphin browser, you see. So they've got them all there. 
and when you click on it it brings up a new page and it gives you a download I would use don't use the beta um, just stick with the base model it's, it's just it, it's easier for you right once you click download it's gonna prompt you to install so we're gonna go ahead and assume that it's not installed right which it is but we click install boom it's gonna take you to the page to install it obviously I've already got it installed you'd click install here once you do that it's gonna pop up this little logo right here now I click the drop down you can't see anything but when you click on this little logo there's gonna be a drop down okay click down that drop down it's gonna say create a new script and that's where we're gonna go next okay so remember you go to this website click on your appropriate browser and then click on excuse me I'm sorry wrong page go here click on the appropriate tab you need for your particular browser and then click install it's gonna take you where you need to go to get it installed because it is an extension it's not you can't just download the uh, tamper monkey it has to be installed as an extension so let's go ahead and turn off uh, this one and so you see hit I have edge and this is when it's already installed ready to go now when I click on my little tamper monkey logo which you can see right here right it's gonna put you a drop down click on create a new script and this is the page you're gonna see okay so this is where we're at right now we've got the script downloaded and we've got the script ready to be installed so let's go back to our notepad here's our file right all you're gonna do is click in there so I'm clicking in the box doesn't matter where I'm gonna click on control a which highlights everything it's a keyboard shortcut if you're not too sure how to do that just click here on edit and click select all again you can't see the drop down but it says select all again it highlights everything from there either gonna hit control C C as in Charlie or you're gonna come here to edit again can't see the drop down but you're gonna click uh, copy let's let me do you a favor can you see that now let me see if it's better for you you can't see the top menu uh, it's not showing it okay well that's weird it's not showing the uh, top menu anyway at the top here it says file edit format view and help so anyway I'm clicking edit clicking copy all right so either I've control aid as in Apple and then control seed as in Charlie or you edit select all and then edit copy then you're gonna come back to your townstar window where you've got the tamper monkey extension right boom now same concept here we're gonna either take our mouse and drag it up like this to highlight everything or go to edit select all or control a as an apple and it highlights everything And all you have to do at this point is control V as in violin or go to uh, I can't paste in there okay so you see it doesn't give us the option to paste we'll go ahead and click control V as in violet boom and now it pastes the entire code in here for you boom and if we scroll all the way back up you'll see we gotta scroll all the way up to the top okay there you go you'll see that we've got boom version 33 copied in here that's it that's all you gotta do so anytime there's a new version a new update you're gonna download the file you're gonna copy all and you're gonna paste all now what I do is installed user scripts I go ahead and delete the one that older version right and then I can come here and click the plus sign and that's where we're at right here new user script boom click paste it's in there I'm gonna hit make sure you have to hit file and then save now it immediately takes you to the installed user scripts here you are you see I've got it checked because I want it to be running version 33 boom simple as that so copy paste that's it now what we are gonna do is we're gonna close this window out close all these out boom we're gonna move that out the way and we're gonna go back to our main town star page now so now that you've got it installed when you come in here you should be able you have a you have your tamper monkey right here in the top right for me it's got a little red logo with a number two in it okay that means I've got two scripts installed now I deleted my script and reinstalled it so we have to come back in the game but it's fine 
Unlike the groove scripts where you have to refresh every time you do a change, with these style scripts you do not. Okay. So uh, as of right now, if once your script's loaded, you'll see you have a red two right here in the top right. And then over here, you'll notice a little gear with LWG TS version 0.033A auto cell active, telling you the auto cell's on and active, ready to go. So now the default button is D, D as in deer, boom, it pops up the window. I'm just tapping D, on, off, on, off, on, off, okay? If you don't want to do that, you can come here to this actual open settings, and it actually creates a little white hand. Click on that, boom, it pops it up. So let's say you don't like the letter D. Let's say you want to use Q. All you got to do is type in Q. Click in there, delete. Uh, let's use U. Now, when I type in U, U opens and closes it. All right? Whatever letter you want, A through Z. As of right now, eventually we may, we'll change it to alphanumeric. But right now it's A through Z. Um, click D again. That's what I've got it set to. D. So D on off. Okay. So that's, you can't do that with Havens. You can't do that with Grooves. So let's go back to uh, the main auto cell function. So this is where you can search for, uh, let's type in blue. There you go. Blue steel pops up. Let's type in cake. That pops up. Let's type in Pinot. Add those pop up. So you're able to search quite quickly for the ones you want. Most important thing to notice about this is there's a cell win and an if gas. Now, sell win means that um, when it gets to 10, which is how you normally sell, it's going to sell. If you want to keep three or four, let's say you want to keep four of Pinot Noir in your storehouse for whatever reason, you would change that to 14. So then it, when it gets to 14, it will trigger and sell the 10. Now, if you're doing 100, you need to, to put in, watch, we'll go ahead and sort for it so you guys can find it. You go ahead and put in 100. That way, once it gets to 100, it'll trigger and sell. If you want to keep five in your inventory and sell to 100, you do 105. Hope that's fairly straightforward and makes sense. That's it. You have to make sure that this is checked, number one. And number two, down here, you've got to make sure... Well, I'm in the way. Well, baby, you didn't tell me I was in the way, baby. Man, why didn't you tell me that, Shay? Get me out of here. Well, get out of here. There we go. Down here, we got a start auto sell, which is now it's off currently. You turn it on, boom, it starts selling. Turn it off, it stops selling. I have an auto complete constructions in here. So that what that does is it clicks on the const completed construction for you so that you don't have to necessarily be here in the event, let's say that you built uh, a logger house and then you had to go somewhere. It would build it for you and the worker would start. You don't have to be here and click on it. So it's done. Come here to settings. And developer settings, don't worry about that. Leave that alone. We have a display left side production monitor info, which is on the left. See how that disappears? See that right here? It's disappearing. I don't have that many on here. But on, off. You've also got a right side production monitor, in case that's where you want it. Pops up over here. Display right sidebar scroll bar. There's a scroll bar for it because you have a lot more options. Now this is this should stay on off. What this does is when you load in that pop-up that comes up, it gets rid of that for you. So that's taken care of. So I would leave that off unless you like clicking on that. The last thing we've got right now is the auto apply all skins. So some of you have, may have noticed if you have skins, if you refresh the page for whatever reason, you come back in and half of your skins are not enabled, but they were enabled or they were applied when you left. I don't know why it does it. The game keeps doing that. I'm not sure what the reasoning is. But the good news is with this applied, as you see, I have it on right now. I'm going to go ahead, hit D to get it out of there. Click on somewhere in the map. I'm going to click on the Gala logo. And we go to my skins. And you can see here I've got all my skins, right? I'm going to click remove all. Now watch. Automatically turns it back on. Do it again. I click remove all. <laughs> back on, baby. You can't not have them on. So if you got this checked off, it will make sure that your skins are applied for you so that you don't lose out on any of the speed buffs from it. So that's it for now. Um, again, I want to get this out of there. Just delete it. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe we can add an X right here to clear it, something like that. You know, there's still little things we got to tweak and stuff. Um, we do have a, uh, a suggestions and a bug reports a tab in the Discord. So please, if you're using it and you have any issues, please let us know. 
But uh, yeah, that's it. I hope that uh, answered your question, how to install it. And if you'd like to get access to it right now, you just got to come to the Discord down below, join my server, and join the guild. Hopefully before the weekly returns, we'll have it stable enough that we can hand it out to anyone that's in my server. So if you don't want to join the guild, but you would like access to it, like access to it sooner than everybody else, then you need to be in my server at the very least. So, that all being said, I hope you all have a great day. If you got any questions, hit me up on Discord. Leave them down below if you want. I don't always see the notifications. I try and get to them. Um, yeah, I'm liking Warlord. Dustache, thank you all. Love you. Take care. Bye. Oh, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. I want to shout out my Patreons. My patrons. My Patreons from Patreon. My patrons from Patreon. Thank you very much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. Um, this is uh, my first end video. So we're going to use this from now on. Um, I'll get it better. Maybe eventually if we got more, I'll scroll or something. I don't know. i got to figure it out. But thank you all. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Uh, the link for Patreon is below. Um, also, any any way you guys to feel like supporting me, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. This is going to uh, help me keep making content that uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. So, thank you. I love you.